Yeah, she better cross that lady. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with the new video. I want to give a shout out to everyone who has bought our shirts from the Scorpion Show store. And I know that you guys have ordered your shirts over the weekend. When your shirt comes, please make sure that you take a picture so your uh, picture can be in the intro of our new video with your shirt. So shout out to everybody who sent me their photos over the weekend. And if you do not have your shirt, you can go over to the scorpionshow.spreadshirt.com to order your shirt. We got shirts, v-necks, tanks. Well, the tanks I'm going to upload tonight. So the tanks will be on there. Um, tote bags, shot glasses, phone cases, onesies for your little babies. Like, I want to see y'all in the baby stuff. Y'all bought the onesies. I want to see the onesies. Now, I, hope, I know you ain't got no other babies coming in. Come on. So send me the photos. And, um, you know, this weekend I had a very nice, chilled weekend. But, um... Mikel and I, we had to do a photo shoot for our friend Khalif. He has this uh, magazine called Parvenu Magazine. And I believe it's a um, digital magazine. Once we uh, get the info, you know, and, the, and the, you know all of that, I'll post it so you guys can check it out. And um, it was a fun photo shoot. Y'all know I'm not used to taking pictures and posing and doing all kinds of fun stuff. But I really had a good time. And, of course, this one was late, you know, and I was over it. Tell them what. I don't know about oh oh because uh, allegedly he had the word and uh, <laughs> allegedly I'm sorry. sorry no I'm only kidding I was gonna say I'm sorry because <laughs> allegedly I was on my I was on my feet for eight hours at work allegedly so, so anyway you know I was told to come early I'm like well all right I didn't know Mikel would get up he's gonna be there at three thirty so. Nick I don't think did he tell you I had to work I, I already knew you had to work but he right. was like you know you was getting off at three and I was like well he normally gets off at three thirty. So, you know, while we was waiting for you, I just took my own pictures. Not to mention, I work in a hospital. Yeah. And I told him I had to go home and shower. Who's going to come from work to do a photo shoot after being in a hospital all day? Yeah. I'm going to bring you and Khalid to my job one day <laughs> and have y'all work all weekend. And you see why I rush home to take showers every day. Anybody who works in a hospital, you know why you, especially when you're working around sick patients, mm -hmm. and people with diseases and things like that. Well, you know, I wasn't that mad, but I just want to be like, what the fuck? Like, you know. let's do next time. We and then when you this. tell them what the problem is, <laughs> oh, 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 we can solve that problem right here. <laughs> we gonna do it on the exact time. But I still enjoyed myself. I and, did too. Um, once I got there. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna have to find somebody in Philly that I can work with. You know, to pose with, to learn how to pose and. Because, you know, Mikel was over me on some of the scenes, and he kept talking about... I wasn't about, over you on some of the scenes. I was just over you when you kept putting your ass <laughs> on He said I kept putting... I was not trying Khalif to. wanted us to be back to back, that, and huh? you had your ass to my ass. <laughs> I'm like, Kevin, come on. Like, and then, and then when we you. was posing, you know I had to keep... You know, no, pointing my leg no. and stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> First of all, Kevin was giving us a thought pose. Oh, I, <laughs> I just happened to look down and I saw his right leg marked up like this, I'm like like, like yeah, one leg was flat, and the other one was flat. And I'm like, Kevin, are you serious? You really gonna give us that that Benji ass <laughs> thought pose? And, he go, and then this is him. What I always pose like that. I do. Why? When I take, well, and nobody tells thing. you not to pose like I that. I don't know for what. They'd be too excited to see me. Oh, 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 oh my God! Well, I forgot. Oh. You are the scorpion. <laughs> Give me. How could I forget who I was talking to? Well, I mean, oh know, my God! I forgot who you were. <laughs> and so they just don't even pay any mind how you're posing. They're just so excited to be in your presence. That's right. You, you better know, go off, Beyonce. They do that for you too. I'm no, sure I don't think do. so. First of all, I don't. I'm don't not posing when I'm taking a picture with somebody. I do my smile. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. But you gotta pose. I mean, sometimes, especially if, you know, if I'm in a club, I got to be like, do I look right? Because, you know, anyway, so, um, yeah, I got to tell you something. Are y'all sure, are, are you guys sure you guys want to continue to call me the diva on the show? Oh, y'all know I'm not the diva. <laughs> they be like, oh, see, you the easy one to talk to. But I don't know about Mikel. And I'm like, Mikel is not that bad. Mm -hmm. You know, my friends, they... They had, okay, had the perception that Mikel was a bitch. I don't, I don't like him. Why the fuck you do videos with him? Mind and you, this then, was, these were friends who I had never, never met. met in my yeah, life. Yeah, never met. They knew but, me. Yeah, but see, oh, that's I the thing. People think they know you because you on a video. Then when they meet you, like, what the fuck was I thinking? He's not even like that. Now like, I can't keep yeah. your friends away from me. Yeah, oh, well, some of them. Man. You can't keep yourself away from them. How you doing? 
with you, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to tell you something. Um, I actually I laid off of doing Focus T twenty five because you know I felt like I was doing the same stuff and I was like stuck. You know I was stuck in you know in between. I either I was wearing two fourteen or two seventeen, and of course you know I was eating right, but then sometimes you know I like to hand me a little steak from time to time, mm. and you know I was I was still thinking if I order hoagie I'm still eating right and. I wasn't anything, so I said, I need to try something new. So I seen Dr. Ian on Fox 29, and he was talking about the shred diet and what so happened, he was actually on Wendy Williams, so one of them taped the damn interview. But anyway, I, you know, I got into it, and I was like, I think I want to try this super shred diet. So I started the super shred diet last week, where it consists of, you know, you have four meals and two snacks one week, then you'll have three meals and two snacks the next week, and I don't know what next week is going to bring. But what kind of meals are they? Um, you eat regular meals, like you have either, uh, you have to have green tea with your breakfast, you can have uh, like egg whites, you you must have fruit with your um, with your drink, you're allowed to have... Um, Two cups of coffee a day. One if you drink in the morning. One in the morning, and one another one anytime you want. But you can't have too much sugar and too much cream and the sugar. I mean, and the uh, coffee. Co coffee cup. And um, you know what else I'm saying? You can have solids. It's a lot of meals that you can have, but you only can. It's only a certain amount you can well, have. What if you don't drink green tea? If you well, it's a or you could drink hibiscus tea. I don't drink hibiscus tea. I don't drink or eat nothing. I can't spell. And oh. I can't spell <laughs> so you know, I got my green tea over there, and I've been drinking my green tea. Oh God, why did I say that? Now I can see people now in the comments. You can't spell hibiscus. It's H I. <laughs> <laughs> well, you set yourself up for that I one. Know. Damn it! You set yourself right Just on. Just like that. that Pacific and Atlantic. <laughs> Oh, bitch, y'all only know two oceans. And then somebody say, Kevin, bitch, I got my life when you say body of seas. Now you tried it. Now I know it's bodies of water. But when I get excited, you know, shit. Sometimes when I be Thank tweeting, you, man, you my, tweets, it. my tweets you only say body of seas. Body yes. of seas. Body yes. of, you said that. Yes, it sure did. You body of seas. And I, they probably thought I was stupid because yes, I didn't correct it. Go ahead, Portia Williams. I know that's right. Body of C. Yes. <laughs> oh! So, <laughs> but but I've, I've started, you know, I started it last week. And in seven days, I've lost six pounds. Oh, wow. So I was 217 and a half last week. And today I am 211 and a half. I know that's right. And I am wearing a large shirt. Now, I don't really get, get into life. the larges like that. You know, I've been a 2X and an XL. But so I'm just going. Your yes, stomach is going down. It really is. Like, when I looked in the mirror this morning, I could see that my stomach is trying to come up and I'm getting fucking And you can see it again. Oh, I've been saying it. You shall ride it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Bitch, I bet can see that. <laughs> Ain't nothing. That ain't stopped the show. <laughs> I can still see mine. Don't you do my No, but my mom keep trying me. What she said? Talking about, yeah, your stomach going down, but you still don't have no ass. I said, <laughs> that's not what I need. What the hell? Like, she's I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, what are you talking about? Tell her she should give you some of hers. <laughs> you try to get But she's hyped up. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there, but <laughs> let me tell y'all something. If y'all love food, I don't know if the super shred will be for you, but try the six week version of it. Like you're allowed to have diet soda, only one fucking can now. Um, and like he does allow you to eat stuff, pancakes, but you can only have a CD size pancake because he wants to the make the diet. What am I gonna do? Listen, I'm a grown woman. He wants to do a CD size pancake. He wants it. He wants you to be able to eat, you know, what you want. Because realistically, when people go on diets, everybody don't eat fucking healthy. No. So he, you know, he gives you a little bit of leeway here and there. So I really like it. And, um, you know, you have your shakes and your soups. And he gives you recipes to make your shakes. Y'all know I don't have shakes. So I buy my little shakes. I got my little muscle milk and everything. Is that good? And, yes, it's very good. So you, you are very, um, what's the word? Not adventurous. You are what is one of those people who just will try anything. You are a you an adventurous. Try, yeah, you are a verse top. You verse bottom. <laughs> you you <laughs> you are trying me for my life. 
on the St. Patrick's Day. I will not. <laughs> you try anything. Okay? No, but I really... I don't like to try new things. Like, see, stuff like that... If I bought a case of that and I sipped it and I didn't like it, I would be over it that I have a whole case sitting in my house and mm-hmm. it's, and I don't like no, it. No, but I've been drinking my smooth. Yeah, but you, but see, you, I would not, that's type of stuff I would walk past in the market. I wouldn't well, even know it was sitting there. They would say, where's the muscle? The muscle well, where? it's a protein I'll shake. Eat. You need yeah. your shakes. I, mm. and, or you can make your own shakes. He has a recipe on how to make your shakes and he has recipes on how to make your own soups instead of you buying You still work out. Yes. Yeah. Well, I haven't worked out last week because right. I wanted to just see if I would lose weight just doing a diet, and I did. Yeah. So after I finished recording, that's why I'm in my clothes. I'm going to work out. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going to work out at? Right here, bitch. Where well, I've done everything. Oh. So I just want to I just want to let you guys know. You know, you can do it. You can lose the weight, but you have to want to lose the weight, and you have to do it for you. That's right. Don't be losing it for Sally and Tim mm-hmm. or for somebody like you, bitch. Once you get first of all, once you get tired of being a certain weight. That shit is, is a mess. Right. Like, I was, I, I just had to say this, we could get into the video. Like, I We're went, not in the video yet? Oh, yeah. But, you know, oh, wow. get into the topics. How about that? So, you know, I was in Miami, Sizzle, Miami. You know, I gained a couple of weight, amount of weight. But, see, I'm used to being able to tie my own net, like, with the string, with the, uh, you know, mm-hmm. what you when you're wearing swim trunks. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes you got the little patch, mm-hmm. and sometimes you have the string. Mm-hmm. But I was on that beach, and I could not look down and under the belly right. to tie the fucking string, and I had to get somebody else to do it for me. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Why didn't you just do what I do? What? Wear a Speedo. <laughs> you tried it again. So I could have all of that belly overlapping. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> you don't have a body like me. <laughs> Bitch, you starting to get a body like my whole body. You tried it. And I I told you I was going to bring it up because I was gagging. I'm like, Markel, like he got a poppy belly, you know, but it's not, it don't look bad on him, but I'm just like, oh my God, because I remember Markel being super skinny and stuff. But you know he's he, he's starting to eat whatever he want. This bitch was eating the sandwiches. He was eating the cupcakes. I mean he had about two or three of them. <laughs> fucking them cupcakes up. But he was posing. <laughs> I'll give him that. The pose was on point. Okay. Wasn't well, that all right? He said Beyonce come to work. Then Kevin so, go ahead and nurse say to me. I said Kevin, why don't you do it this way? Do that, bitch. How many photos? I don't do photo shoots all the time. I said, bitch, this is my first one too. Yeah, I just take a picture like. No, well, we know how you take a picture. You tried it. <laughs> you tried me. <laughs> just because you do that. Oh, you yeah. But shout out, but shout out to the ones that do some of those photos. IGDL. And what do you know. send them back? Nothing. I said, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> Why can't you? Because I'm a scorpion, bitch. You can, that picture will be out there. So oh, I, for, oh I, for, I keep forgetting who you are. Oh, my God. Do you? Like, do I you like it? <laughs> How do I keep forgetting that? Oh, my God. <laughs> but if I was a regular Joe, you know. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> Where are my notes? <laughs> I wrote down all of those freaking notes I must have deleted. They ran out of my damn mouth. <laughs> so, oh, my goodness. So, um, let's talk about Mary Mary. Let's talk. Let's talk. Because I, you know I've been begging Mikkel to get into this damn show. So Mikael had a chance to watch it. Both episodes. Both ep- well, it's, it's on the third one, but it's all right. Yeah, but the this third, is, I missed. Oh, so the third one came on last week. Yeah, but it's the same damn thing going on. You mm-hmm. know, they're arguing with their manager, um, Mitchell. Mitchell. Let me tell you something. I do think that they treat their manager Mitchell like shit. Now I haven't watched the previous seasons, but I think they are very mean to him. Now I don't know. You know, all the promises he made them, because I've seen them, you know, talk to him. But they just they just treat him bad. From the previous episode, I said, no, from, from what Dennis told me, he helped them. First of all, he helped them get this damn show on WeTV. Ooh. Second of all, Ooh, he was supposed to be a part of um, Erica's going, Erica going uh, solo. solo. Yeah. He, like he, he, was, he, was helping, he was helping her out with that. Mm-hmm. Then come to find out, you know, Erica working with her husband with the My Block label and everything. And they're not keeping it real with him like, I don't want you to be my manager because, you know, whatever whatever tribulations they got going on with Mary Mary, 
Erica didn't want to have him as a manager. But instead of just keeping it real with him, she keep holding back, telling him, you know, I just think that it's best that we only work together as Mary Mary and not with you working with my solo career. Um, like she had to tell him in a, in a parking lot after one of their shows, after they killed that damn show, you know. Um, Erica is dealing with her husband cheating on, not Erica, Tina. She's dealing with her husband she cheating on too. her. Huh? She dealt with it too, Erica. What? Her uh, husband cheated on her too. I didn't know Erica's husband cheated yeah, on her. Yeah, remember they were in the bed talking about it. And they, they said they went through the same thing. I guess they went through it a long time ago. I don't Child, know. let me tell you something. Remember remember in the confessionals when Erica was saying how she knows how her sisters, because, you know, it happened to her. Uh, it may not have happened when they were big. It may have happened a long time, time ago, but it happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, it happens. But let me tell you but something. I'm just thinking, like, who does he, Erica's husband, think he is to cheat on anybody? <laughs> you better not go with no woman like that. Okay, because I will go with I mean, but don't, let me tell you something. Yeah, tell me. Dots don't care. They don't care. They see dollar signs. Whoa! No, I don't whoa. see dollar signs. When I, see, I don't see dollar signs, I <laughs> see face. <laughs> and then I see, never Bitch, money makes girls uh, come. Yes, it do. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, it does. It, make, does. it makes the girls come. Yes. And sometimes it will be quiet, Mikkel, before you tell one so. <laughs> Well, you know, but who is he? He's a Jesus. I don't, yeah, who, <laughs> right, exactly. You got my fucking drift. Like, hello. Have you? I was no looking at you. You cheated on what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarah, Sarah. Did you? <laughs> but see, see, I'm finding out that Erica was being cheated on for three years. Erica or Tina? Tina. Yeah. Tina got cheated on three for three long, long years, years. And I with a family Sears, friend. And she let Sears stick her in the ass. That's <laughs> just how she felt. Wait. I mean, if you've been cheating on me for three years with a family friend, how do you have the strength to still look at that person? I don't know. Lay in the bed with them? Know. Because that's a long time. I just thought he cheated on her and, and she found right. out. No. But bitch, you having that's a whole nother relationship right. while you're married and supposed to be committed to being in a relationship. Well, I, I, this is just me. Oh. I didn't really take that whole scene where they were at the table and he was a pilot. I didn't take that sincere. He looks like a sneak to me. Mm -hmm. He just does. But then to answer your question, I mean, Bill Clinton was cheating on Hillary Clinton throughout their whole fucking marriage before we found out about Monica Lewinsky. Because remember all those women, Paula Jones and all those, Jennifer and Linda Flowers. Flowers, Jennifer Flowers, all those mm -hmm. women that came out years before saying that he was messing around and nobody really believed them until Monica Lewinsky came around and she had to prove. proof. Mm -hmm. And we know what the proof was. All right. Because I don't have plenty of proof. That be <laughs> you got a lot You keep samples. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you, are you kidding me? But I won't lie, one day I thought I had a proof on my shirt. Like, oh, oh God. God. So, shut up. So, hold up now, I told you to squirt. So, oh, I'm no. joking. That's a joke. So, so. It's a thought joke. So. And it was a black shirt. Girl, oh, that's the easiest one. Such. Love me, bitch. Chad, you like, what is that? No, like, oh, I know, you know what it is. And you know what? Well, you know what? No, I don't. Don't tell me. Oh, okay, I won't, because you know. <laughs> but, you know, I just feel mad. I feel bad for uh, Tina. Yeah, I, I feel, really feel bad for her, and she's like, she don't even want to leave the home because she right. think once I go on the road, right. this motherfucker gonna I'm cheat cheating. again. Yeah. I mean, if he did it once, it's most likely he will do it again, especially for three years. Yeah, three long, long. Oh, girl, you are better than me because. Uh, okay, can, I'm sorry to cut you off. Did she catch? Did she catch him, or did he stop cheating and then tell her? Or did I she? Did, I, didn't I wish read they the, would say. I didn't how. read the magazine, but she. I heard that she opened up to the magazine because she you know, did. She's been talking about it on the show. Well, she's yeah, but yeah. I want to know how it came about, how she found out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because if she caught him, then you know. But if he stopped the cheating and then told her, which I doubt he did, because mm -hmm. he wasn't so. I mean, he. People, most, a lot of people only sorry after they get caught. Of They're never sorry during the process. No. You know, just like when somebody nuts on you and you oh, tell them don't nut right there, you are being too nasty during this very, very segment. Oh, my God. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mr. D. No, he's the deacon. But <laughs> you treasure it. <laughs> we don't have to. Hey, first lady, you know, I know she watched you. Oh, we had a key yesterday. I'm about to say, how does she, you know, she don't look at you funny. No. Oh, what, girl? That probably be talking. You know what? <laughs> Come here. Sorry, Pastor. 
Oh. Hey, That's pastor. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. The first thing, yeah. I, let me tell you something. I had to work yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. So my pastor, they were pre, he went to us. After morning service, mm. afternoon service, he went, our congregation went to another church. And my pastor preached at a second church. So after I left work, I was able to go to that second, second church. church. I went in there and... Oh, you went to church without going home and taking a shower? You went straight from the hospital to the church? Yeah, it wasn't my church. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see how I got him, though? Did you see how I got him? All right. No, but anyway. So, yeah, so I went and, you know... <laughs> so I went and... I sat, because I saw a few people in gracious. I, saw, I, saw, I went to a single night. That's my girlfriend, too. <laughs> So you know how you feel somebody staring at you. So I'm sitting there, I feel somebody staring at me, and I look over, and it's my first thing. And she like this, look at me like this. You come here. I was like, you want me to come over there? She was like, yes, come sit. She moved her jacket and everything on to the lady. Move down just a little Ooh, bit. Yes. I said, I can't sit next to you because there was another lady at the end with a baby and all this stuff. So I just sat behind her. But you know, that's my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know me and her like this. Yes. She got me in church and I got her. And that's all we need. Amen. <laughs> So, you leave it at that. So, so we see Erica's going through her little. She's learning learning the ropes of being a solo artist. Her husband cursed her the fuck out for sending out her music, <laughs> sending out her music to other people, and to Michelle and them. Like, Michelle, like, who? No, I'm just. I'm oh, just I was about to say. He was like, he, he, was he, like he was like, you don't be sending your music out to no damn body. Right. I done created this new sound for you, and you want to send it out to other people. She like, no, I ain't seen nothing wrong with. It. Oh, you don't think nobody gonna try to steal your sound right. that I crafted especially for you? He told he, he got her together. He told her. And then, um, but I was, you know, but thank God they was in the bedroom, you know, while they was discussing this. And then, um, you know, she do the radio show. She does a radio show interview talking about her solo career. And then she was like the Mary Mary Project. Then her husband corrects her right in front of the damn DJ. I'm like, damn, like, you got to be like, well, why would you say the Mary Mary Project when it's your project? I'm working for you. I'm doing this for you. Like, he went off in there again. Like, he ain't gonna all go up, but he got it together. And I'm just like, sometimes you need to save that for when you're in the room or in the car somewhere, you know, get out together. Don't do that in front of public. Like, don't do that. So then, um, Erica, she's calling Tina instead of calling the manager to tell the manager that they're gonna be late for a meeting because the same time she had a, a meeting, I mean, she was doing a radio interview, she had a meeting for pocketbooks and everything for Mary Mary. I don't know who's going to be walking around with a Mary Mary pocketbook, but there's a Mary. lot of Mary Mary fans out there. So they were trying to get a pocketbook <laughs> with like church a diaper like bag. A, a pocketbook with a diaper It's like bag. a diaper bag for month. Look, child, I don't know. But they're going to have a pocketbook line. Let me just say that. But they were talking about a, a, a mother. Child, they were talking about mother and stuff. I don't know. But Erica came late to the meeting. Which one of them got like 10 kids? Is that Tina? Tina got five kids. Yeah, that's the one who's Four or five. Like they, she got four kids and they got one by marriage. I mean, from the previous marriage. From, from who? Him or her? Um, Teddy. Teddy Campbell. And Teddy Campbell? And his name Teddy Campbell? You know who I'm thinking of? Teddy, uh... Oh, never mind. Teddy no. Riley? Yeah, that's what no, I'm thinking. That's what, I believe his name is Teddy Campbell. And it, it begins yeah, with the Teddy. Erica, yeah. Now, they got the arguing... You know, um, Erica and the manager. They got the arguing at the dinner table over who was supposed to do what for who. But first of all, I side with the manager only because, but I didn't like how the way he turned up. But <laughs> Erica. You didn't like that, huh? Why would you call your sister to tell Mitch that you're going to be late? Why can't you call your manager right. and tell him you're going to be late? Like, him. what is going to do? Beat your ass? Like, no. He might be upset. But call him, that was that was a punk move to me. Like, and then like she was just going off on him and he was going off on her, but he really turned up. And next week, the husband gonna find out about it. What went on, and then him and the husband is gonna go away and be like, you're not gonna yell and scream at my wife. That's so right. I can't wait to say, but Mary Mary is good, and I need to find season one and season two so I can get into the whole season. Um Oh yeah, because remember you had stopped watching it when everybody yeah. else was still watching it. I, I I never really I seen like the first episode and then I was like uh, and but it's good like all of this drama. Oh, well, you only watch for the drama. You damn right. That's why we watch all reality shows for drama. 
Excuse me. I mean, you can have a good plot, but a good drama, too. You ain't got the fist fight, but baby, if we seeing somebody crack on stage dealing with a, somebody Harsh cheating reality, on some her, cheating. yeah. And remember, that's why the sister was up there crying, too, because mm -hmm. she said she understood where her sister was coming from. Mm -hmm. And, and they, they went in, oh, oh my, I've never seen them nobody cry like that on stage singing. Getting holy, except for Fantasia, when they was doing that song. But, um, oh, yeah. Kelly Rowland allegedly got dropped from her um, record label. Now, I'm not even surprised. Like, I don't know what to say, but all I'm going to say is this. Like, keep your head up. Some, no, sometimes it's not good to, it's not good, I'm going to just keep it real. It's not good to be fucking a manager and, you know. Hold up, she was having sex with Matthew Knowles? You are not going to do that on my show. <laughs> What? Sometimes it's just good to just have a Where mother have and that? don't have them working in your professional life. Because sometimes they'll just fuck your whole professional life. Is that, is that life the new guy? Time. The new guy's yeah, in Yeah, but he's been, he been with her for a long time. Like, when I was in Atlanta, I met him. Oh, you remember meeting him? Yes. Because I'm like, who are you? He's like, I'm Tim. I'm like, Tim who? Okay. <laughs> Tim Witherspoon. Oh, is it? Oh. Or Witherspoon, whatever. Or Timmy Tan. Oh, <laughs> where are they having him? Somewhere being crazy. I see him every once in a while. You think I gained some weight? You gotta see Tim. Ooh, Tim gained a lot of weight. Mm -mm -mm. He was real skinny. I can't picture him. I, well, when I met Tim, he was small too, and now he's like, he's bigger than me. I think weight wise, yeah, he's big. Wow. Yep. I got to see Tim Tan. Tim just like you know. Tim so, don't care. So look, Kelly, I think. Everybody is not going to be able to work with somebody professionally and know them personally. And, you know, when you work with somebody professionally, you would think that they would go off of you if they in the bedroom with you personally. Like, you would be everywhere instead of selling DVDs for a workout boot camp. He is a mess. He's getting too fucking big. You know, so, Kelly, this is what I say. When you get your new label, you need a new team. Keep Tim as your lover, but you need a whole team that's going to rock the fuck out with you. There's no way you could put out two good albums and nobody give a fuck about it or buy it. Like, come on. Like, I don't know what do you want more. Do you want to sing or do you just want to be Kelly Rowland or do you just want to sell DVDs with Jeanette Jenkins? Like, what is it that you really want to do? I can, I'm going to ride with you. I'm going to support you, but you have to put your career first. And you have to be serious about it. Like, there's no way you drop in one song and then make everybody wait four or five months. And then you do a hot-ass performance on the BET Awards and then go back to, yes, get in shape and get this DVD. Like, what the fuck? Get it together. If you need me to talk to you, I will talk to you. And I will get you in line. Because I know what your fans want. But getting dropped and putting out hot-ass albums and... Don't promote it like the fuck. The you're going to get what you get. Keep doing what you're doing and you'll keep getting what you're getting. Going back. You know what? I'm not going to say that. But bye, Kelly. I mean, what else can I say? Put your career first. Leave the girlfriends alone and work on Kelly Rowland. She can't do that because then people going to start thinking there's a problem. What's the problem? I've got to put my career first. Right. Like she need, maybe she do need to call Vince. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, too. he did wonders for Tamar, so call. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> he but did. he really would. He did. He really he would. Wonders for Tamar. Tamar. Yes. At least he asked Tony. <laughs> he didn't do wonders for her. <laughs> well, ain't that, ain't, that she, well, ain't that why she fired him? <laughs> ain't that his wife, though? Okay, but Tony, he didn't do, he said he did okay. Well, he's going to do wonders for his wife. But well, look. But if you don't think he's going to do wonders for his sister-in-law, what makes you think he's going to do wonders for well, Beyonce? see. <laughs> You try, don't, I got to edit that. <laughs> Why do you have to edit that? Why do I you mean, say it's that? true. No. Especially no. when she gets on camera and say, oh, you know, I have this bird. Like, girl, cop, let's be for real. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just calling the pot, the, the, the pot black or whatever you, call it, you say. What is it? The, what? Yeah, I'm just mm. calling it like it is. This is what it is. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I think she just needs to go, she needs to go. I honestly, you know what I honestly think? I honestly think Kelly Rowland needs to go with a manager that nobody knows of, 
No, no, she needs yo. somebody with a proven track record. Well, because clearly, well, what is it going to do? Hook it. Well, I mean, let me I'll ask you a question. question. Let me ask you a question. I ain't no. Let me ask you a question. And this is no shade to Kelly Rowland. I'm being a hundred percent honest with you. Mm -hmm. Kelly Rowland is talented. We all know that Kelly Rowland can sing. She's beautiful. She's got the whole nine yards. But with Kelly Rowland's track record since she left Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. what? Established manager is going to want to manage somebody like that. Somebody that's going to get her ass together like that's but then, what she needs. But then, like you said yourself, she's had two good albums that nobody bought. Now, who fault was that? Was I don't know. It's released on the same I don't know. Maybe you need to call her. Or maybe you need to say, you see that Christmas card that she sent you? Which what was it? That's actually, it's actually in one of my drawers. But where is that? Where where was she? Because I remember last time it was up there. Mm -hmm. Now it's in your drawer. Mm -hmm. she, you must have got mad at her for a reason. For what? But anyway... That Christmas card that she sent you, you need to tear it over and write a nice long letter and return to sender and say, look, <laughs> I might have to ever I might sleep have to with your me. manager again. Because, see, things are not looking on the ups and ups for you. No. I didn't even know she was dating her manager. Yes. This is news to me. Yeah. But it's been quiet because, you know, all these Quiet as kept. But, see, I don't even know what he looks like. Yeah, he's... Don't yeah, but this. Yeah, yeah. But see, I mean, first yeah, of all, on. see, first of all, like, yeah, no. is this the one that she's engaged to? Yeah, the one that engaged her with Skype. I, uh, I, uh, if you don't, if he can't <laughs> propose to her in person, what makes you think he's gonna get a career in order? He proposed to her on Skype. That's like me FaceTiming somebody and saying, "Baby, <laughs> <laughs> I love you, and I really, 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 really want this to go far." Mm -mm -mm. Baby, I gotta ask you a question. Hold on, hold on. I gotta put you on pause. Somebody just texted me. Mm -mm -mm. Baby, will you marry me? Really? You think I am going to accept somebody's wedding proposal over Skype? And I don't want to hear that. Oh, well, maybe they weren't in the same country, bitch. Oh no, it don't matter. Yes, it don't matter. <laughs> like, <laughs> who does? I didn't that? see nobody go Google Gaga <laughs> over that. No. She did, apparently, because she said yes. I would have made up a different way of getting engaged. I would have never told nobody. On oh, Skype, Kevin? Hell no. Like, did you even get a Skype endorsement? First of all, I don't even blame her. I blame him. How on earth, as a man, do you think that that's a proper way to propose to your uh, your future wife over Skype? You didn't have enough balls to say, no, I'm going to wait. I don't give a fuck if I don't see her for the next two months. I'm going to wait until I do see her, and then I'm going to propose. Yeah, but you know, they was all over the beach this weekend. Doing what? They Look, weren't recording, were they? <laughs> hey. Hey. They should have had a stand set up on that beach saying, Kelly Rowland albums, buy here instead of a lemonade yeah. stand. They should have had a CD stand. And I think she had quite good numbers, but girl, you got to get that. I feel like we should be saying the same thing for every album. You got to get it together. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm starting to repeat myself after six years. Yeah, <laughs> get it together. Yeah, six long years. Where are my notes? So, let's talk about the father that bit his son nose off. Then I want to talk about the father that killed his daughter because and her girlfriend because they're gay. It was some other stories going around about black fathers that have just been disgusting right. the shit out, out of me. me. Right. right. Like... What is really going on? Who, let me tell women, please be careful of who y'all dealing with. Like, if you see something ain't right, don't, just don't, just don't. You know what I'm going to say? Just don't. But the father, and something I can't get, to all you future parents out there, if your baby is crying and getting on your fucking nerves, Shaking the baby, hitting the baby, biting the baby nose off, breaking the bone is going to do the same thing. Make the baby keep crying and it's still going to irritate the fuck out of you. So what difference does it make? Let the baby cry or try to, you know, cuddle the baby or give the baby a pet fight or give the baby a bottle or just have some fucking patience. You are that child's parent. What makes you think you need to kill the baby? Oh, because he won't shut up. Oh, your nerves is that fucking bad that you can't let a baby cry? The baby's getting on your nerve? Get a fucking life. Get it together. See, and I hope that there's a special place in jail for child abusers. Like, they getting beat the fuck up in there. You want to beat up on the baby? Now, let me beat the fuck up on you. 
You know, it's, it's just, let me bite the fuck. Where the fuck do you even think, let me bite the baby's nose off? I just, I don't. That's barbaric to bite I'm sorry, but off. the mom seems a little weird to me, too. Because when she was 16, he like 20-something. And mind you, first of all, and I was hoping they wasn't black. But that was a black couple biting a fucking nose. I don't care what nobody says. That mom either knew something was going on or... Because it, she, first of all, she was she's like way too calm on TV she for like, me. He did, he, he then not only that, then she said she called 911 because her baby's nose was, was bleeding. bleeding. First of all, it was a month, one month old baby. Mm. Your baby's nose ain't bleeding, sweetheart. If the baby dad bit it off, okay. that that his face is bleeding. Basically, I don't understand how she didn't know that the the, the the guy bit the nose off. And then she said, "Well, you know, he was fine." And then on top of that, when they took the baby to the hospital, doctors discovered that the baby had a Some fractured skull, skull, skull and had a brain, brain hemorrhage. This baby had been abused before. And I'm just not buying that the mom didn't know. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I am not buying that she did not know. I'm not buying that. I'm not buying it at all. And I am so happy that they said on a news report that the baby is no longer in her in their custody mm -hmm. at this moment because the mom is fighting, you know, to get the baby back. But I honestly don't think that she should have the baby back because there's no way on the earth that your child's nose gets bitten off and then your child has a fractured skull and you know no, that's probably why the baby was crying because he had a fractured skull. Did you ever think about that? It just makes no sense at all. Young Young dummies. Young, can we say it together? Young dummies having babies. <laughs> having babies. They showed the dad's mugshot. He's a young dummy with dreads in his hair, sitting there looking stupid. And the young mom is sitting there on TV talking about she didn't know what was going on with all these freckles on her face. Young and dumb. I don't care what anybody says. That mom knew something was going on. Because ain't no way on earth. You didn't know that your baby had a fractured skull. You mean to tell me you... Let me tell you something. My sister has sickle cell. When my sister was a little... When she was a newborn baby, my mom and dad had no idea why it was that my sister was crying and crying and crying. They had no idea because they had never dealt with it before. They took her to the hospital and that's when they discovered that she had sickle cell. And that was the cause of her crying because she was going through so much pain. But as a baby, she, she couldn't say that she was in pain. You mean to tell me that this baby had a fractured skull and I know and a month old, I know this baby is constantly crying. Why? Because he has a fractured skull and he has a brain hemorrhage. You mean to tell me that this baby is crying and nobody in that house thought to take that baby to the doctor to see what was the matter? Y'all just letting this baby cry and cry and cry and cry and cry until the dad decides that he wants to bite the baby's nose off? What fucking planet are we living on? I, that, this is why I say there's no way on earth that that mom didn't know what the fuck was going on. She may not have seen him hit the baby, but she knew something was going on. And as a mom, if you have a baby and he keeps on crying, you're going to try to do your best to find out why it is that the baby is crying. My mom and dad couldn't, they did not know. I remember my mom would call my grandma. Why is she crying? And my grandma would try to explain, like, you know. But see, nobody in our family knew about sickle cell. Nobody knew about it. So when my mom took her to the doctor, my mom says she keeps crying and I'm not understanding why. And so, you know, she has sickle cell. And it was like a shock to everybody because nobody knew what it was. We didn't know what sickle cell was. And then we knew why she was crying because she was in pain. But being as though she was a newborn baby, she couldn't tell us that she was in pain. That's why when babies are in pain, when they're crying and crying and crying, something is wrong. And if you as a parent can't stop the crying, then you need to take your baby to the nearest doctor to figure out why it is that your baby is crying. You don't want to just let your baby cry. Can you imagine how much pain that baby was in with a fractured skull and nobody did anything? A fractured skull. I'm in pain when I get a splinter. A baby with a fractured she skull. She knew the baby was beat before, but she should have been to the baby. To like, I don't understand. Like, it it, it, it it, really does upset me because people, and then they get on TV and act like, oh, I didn't know that this was going on. Yes, you did. Because let me tell you something. I've been walking this earth for a long time. A very long time, okay? I might not know much about much, but I got a little bit of street smarts, okay? Because when you grew up in North Philly like I did, okay, in the early 90s, you get a whole lot of street smarts. Because what my mom and dad used to do was they would take me in that gold Ford 
escort and drop me off at 732 Jefferson Street and tell me, go play, and they would drive on off. That's how you got your street smarts as a kid. You got your street smarts. There's no way on God's green earth these people did not know that something was going on. And you know also, people who get street smarts is usually the newsy people. Because they, they, they observe everything the hell that's going on. That's why black people can tell you what's going on without the cops. Black people tell you before the cops can tell you. Because we're newsy. I just don't buy this girl when she says that she, she didn't know. I don't buy it. And I don't think that she or the... Well, the father's definitely not going to have the child anymore. But I don't think she should get the child back. I really don't because it just... It makes me upset that your child had a fractured skull and you did nothing to stop this child from crying. You didn't even attempt to take the child to the hospital. It, it took it took a bloody face or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The words of the mother. It took a bloody nose for you to take your child to the hospital for the doctors to then tell you your child has a fractured skull and brain damage. I just don't get it. And that's all I'm gonna say. Well, you've been off for forty days and eighty nights. I know that's yeah. Because you know what? I don't like I don't like I don't like pedophiles and I don't like, I don't like people who abuse children, especially an infant. An infant cannot even attempt, they can't even attempt to defend themselves from people who attack them. So you know how, you know how, how much of a coward you are when you put your hands on a baby, a, a baby who can't even swing to hit you back. That is beyond disgusting. And I think that him, he should definitely be in jail, but she should never have kids anymore, okay? Because anytime you are that careless not to know that there's something wrong with your child, you don't need to be reproducing kids. Okay? You need to be in somebody's books. She didn't look that bright. No, she didn't. No, she didn't look that bright. She didn't. That's probably why she didn't know there was something wrong with the baby because she didn't look that damn bright. And by the looks of that mugshot of her baby's father, he didn't look that bright either. So you got two dummies, like I said in the beginning of this segment, two dummies reproducing. Mm -hmm. It's like... <gasps> Anybody can be a mother these days. Anybody can be a mother, anybody can be a father, because there's just no supervision it's with no. these children. No. And it's you don't have it no more. It's no, no. it's no such thing as supervision anymore. No. Kids having kids and then kids having kids. I wouldn't be surprised if anybody that I went to high school with isn't a grandmother right now. I would not be surprised. You had people 15 and pregnant. When I was in high school, I got to high school in 98, so I was 13 at the time. So it was still people pregnant. Right. And I'm 28. So if I'm 28, well, bitch, how old am I? 29. So that's. No, you'll be 20. Oh, I no. am. I'm 29. Well, you're turning 30 this year. Yes, get, get into that. Wow. So if they done had a baby at 13 or 14, and they're, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised they would be grandmothers by now before 30. I would not be surprised because parents parents are not like parents up before. Like parents used to be strict, fuck you up, you did something wrong. Now you can't even beat your fucking kids. Now, okay, you got the father. Now before I talk about the father to be his daughter, I'm gonna talk about the bitch. The bitch that they said he was he got into a jealous rage, strapped his daughter to the car seat. Excuse me. Drove her to a creek and threw her into a creek. At How two old years old. Oh, two this years is old. What I'm talking about. See, you this can't. This is what I'm talking about. It's sad. About. Like, I, I hate to talk about this yeah, stuff. It makes me mad to like talk about this stuff, but I just have to talk about it. It's just making me so fucking mad. Women, please be careful of the men that you fucking lay with. If you know something ain't right, you shouldn't be sleeping with him. Get the fuck away from him. And I mean, fast. You get that jealous of a baby, or you might have, I don't know what he was jealous of. You take her in the car seat and you throw her into the river and then gonna write her letter and say, now we famous. Like, what kind of shit is that? You are sick. It's a lot of sick men out here. Then you got the father that killed his daughter and the girlfriend. All, the, all of these stories that make me mad. I'm hating all of this shit. You know, he kills his daughter because he don't like her being gay. So he kills her and the damn girlfriend. If you don't agree with it, then bitch, cut her off. Don't talk to her no more. She will be all right. She looked like she was doing mighty fine without you with your ass okay. being in and out of jail. Okay. 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 
a child on fucking it. with children, just doing all kinds of stuff. He had a whole laundry list of charges, bitch. And then you want to get out of jail and call yourself being authoritative, killing her because she's gay. She's like 20 something years old. Bitch, your job is already done. Once she's 18, and bitch, you weren't even there anyway. Want to kill someone? Who the fuck do you think you are? If you don't agree with something, you don't got to agree with it. But taking someone's life because you don't agree with it? Who the fuck gave, who named you God? Oh, just because I don't like the way you live, I'm going to kill you and, and I'm going to kill your girlfriend. And then and your girl, black ass... The girlfriend probably didn't even know who he was. Probably not, but he was actually... Because the, the, the couple, they was living together at the uh, gra the grandmother house. And he moved into the house with them. Oh, God. So My get God. into that. Get into that. And then you had the nerve. Ooh, this shit make me mad. Because you had the nerve to get on the news... After killing your daughter and then talk all of this shit like, oh, I, I don't know who would do such a thing while this would happen. I hate motherfuckers like that. And there's so many people that kill somebody and then show up to the motherfucking funeral as if nothing never happened. Couples do it all the time. Kill the wife. Oh, I don't. Why this would happen. Show up to the funeral, passing out flyers for somebody missing. And, you know, just it's just too many sick people in this world. It's too many sick people out here. And if you could get them help, get them help. If you could get away from them, get the fuck away from them as fast as you can. I'm pretty sure this girl would have never thought that her father was going to kill her. You know, then he had conflicting stories about what happened. They're like, well, why your fingerprint was at this scene? He didn't know why his fingerprint was at the scene. Much. Like... At the crime scene, he didn't know what he didn't even know why his fingerprint was at the crime scene, mind you. I, well, how, it didn't just walk, jump off your finger and walk there. So how did it then get they there? got they got video proof of them dropping the bodies off because they crossed one bridge, and then they had video proof of them going the opposite way on the bridge. So something happened to the car. They say he's charged with tampering with evidence. I think he need to be charged with murder. He's Cause never because he the car. They still haven't found the car. Nope. But this bitch going to act like nothing happened. And then the mom, the mom was on TV too, you know, talking to the news reporter. I, I don't know if she's all cried out, but child, there's no way I could be on the news talking calmly about my child. Right. She was very calm. I figured, I just took it as she's probably still in shock because she was just like, yeah, I think she's still in shock. Because, you know, it's a lot of people, they get in shock and, you know, they don't, the emotions don't show up. Right away. Mm -hmm. How you kill your own child? I can't. I can't get over that. Killing your own child. That. That's sad. Somebody must have fucked him real good in jail for him not to like gay people. Maybe I don't know. He must have got fucked real. It still, good it still don't get him the right. Jail. No, it don't. But I'm just saying, because his hatred for gay people, that goes and then to. Take it as yeah. One of the girls was shot. Like, one of the girls, and they say even uh, maybe a hammer might have been used because it didn't say both of them were shot. It only said one of them was shot. But like that's sad. And then that man that just throw his baby into the river. Come on, these people need help, and we didn't even we didn't even discuss that lady that drove her damn kids into the damn ocean. Well, thank God people saw that. Yes, time. that's what you call. Thank God for newsy people. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't for those newsy people, they wouldn't have seen Shit, it. I wouldn't even call them newsy because what the fuck is a car doing on a beach? A car? That was a minivan. A minivan, yeah. It wasn't in the beach, it was in the water. <laughs> it was so bad car. that the waves was moving the car. Mm -hmm. And then it was so sad because they said that the people said that once they got to the van, they could see the two kids was in the back and it was one in the front fighting with the mom to, to get the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Baby. I'm done talking about this. Um, you know why it makes me so upset, too? I'm done talking about it, too. But you know why it makes me so upset? Because as we sit here and talk about it right now, and as people at home sit and watch us, there's somebody out there somewhere abusing a child. Mm -hmm. Or know about it. Or know about it, not say anything about it. It's so sad. It's so sad. It really is. It's stuff like this makes me wish I could just go to F, like, F the Scorpion show, F everything. I wish I could just go and just... 
arrest everybody who's abusing the child. Like, there's no way on God's way. Just like that episode. All right, then we're going to get off of this. Oprah had this segment a few years ago on her show. Um, I don't know if it was a multiple segment or if it was one segment where she was interviewing this family that... Okay, it was two different stories, but I'm going to tell you about both of them real quick. There was one story where the girl was being sexually abused by, I think, not one, but both of her brothers. And then when she went to go tell the dad what was going on, the dad told her, well, show me how it was that they was touching you. And then the dad started breaking her. What? On Oprah. Y'all look this up and y'all will find it. Then it was another episode on Oprah where the dad was keeping the daughter, not just the dad, I think it was both parents, was locking the daughter up in a dog kennel in their basement. And they would keep her in there for hours and hours in this kennel built for a small dog. And how she was found, I forget I forget the whole story, but somehow the police was called to the house and they discovered her. It was just horrible. Like People really do crazy things. Crazy, crazy things. Now, if you know anything about a child being abused, but that's please call nine one. That was sick. You just said the brothers was doing it. The brothers. The I don't know if it was two brothers or one, but it was a brother. Let's just say it was a brother who was abusing the sister. Mm -hmm. And when she went to go tell her dad, the dad started abusing her. Did she tell her mom? I, I can't remember that far. But whatever the case may be, first of all, as a little girl, when you're a little girl and your brother's abusing you and you go to your parent and your parent starts abusing you, then protected. you start thinking, like, well, maybe this is supposed to happen. You know, it's sad. It is so sad out here. Let me say some Oprah used to have some good, good shows. Did I tell you, somebody used to watch Oprah? I Ain't nobody not. on TV right now. I'm just retweeting my mom's video, so that's why my head is down, so don't judge me. But, you know, it's nobody really that good on TV with in depth shows that's helping people today. Sometimes I wish Oprah could come back right. and, and you know, do her show on regular TV. Like, Katie Couric, she don't really, like, none of, none of them really yeah. do it for me. Like, you know, when I was a kid, I used to watch Oprah. Like, I couldn't wait to watch Oprah. And, you know, a lot of people my age wasn't want to watch no damn Oprah. Mm -hmm. But Oprah had good topics and stuff. And you don't, you don't really see women rushing to get home to say, oh, I got the, I, you know, DVR this episode. That was just court shows. Like, that's the main thing people look forward to when they come. Court shows and Family Feud. Like, what the fuck else is out there? It's nothing. So anyway, um, I want to talk about, I wish I had all my damn notes. Portia Stewart came out with a new song, or Portia Williams. Yeah, I wanted to save all of that for the Housewives. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to, that's, we didn't talk about Basketball Wives last week. Let me tell you something. If you want to get a fucking secret out, <laughs> tell Jackie fucking Christie. Yeah. Jackie, let me tell you something. You ain't shit. You know you ain't yeah. shit. First of all, about your whole gay and lesbian thing. I don't know what's that all about. How the fuck you going to get mad at these girls? Like, you know who you dealing with. You know, First of all, you don't know no, them don't. like that. First of all, if I don't know you like that, how the fuck you going to... Del how you going to delegate to me what I'm going to do? Then get mad if I don't really feel like doing it because I don't want to do it. And then, and if you was really as on top of your game as you were, you would have made sure everything was done. Because when we put this Scorpion Show barbecue together, we did that shit. We made sure everybody did what they were supposed to do. We ain't just say, oh, I know they're just going to come and I know they're going to do it. No, we had to get on top of everybody. And sometimes they had to get on top of me make sure everything was straight. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm just tired of every damn thing. But your party was whack, okay? And what was it for again? I forgot what it was. For Glad. She was supposed to be donating money to the Glad campaign. Another thing. Sunday Carter. You are petty. <laughs> British, you <laughs> are petty. Like, y'all fucking too old for the Sunday. You like 40-something years old, and you worrying about a bitch named Drea. And who she fucking, and who she dealing with. You want to be there to see Jackie tell Dre about... Hello, uh, situation. What the fuck that got to do with you? What is it that you do? Like, what? I don't know what really? it is that you do besides sit there and put your hand over top of Jackie's hand as she's stirring this motherfucking pot. <laughs> Jackie don't need your help. Jackie does just fine. <laughs> okay. What is it that Sunday does? Yeah, let me tell you something. Never trust a bitch who takes the A out of Sunday. <laughs> no, you don't. 
No. But you don't do that because that's a holy day. You tried it. That's a holy day. And you're not. You wouldn't take the U out of Jesus. So why would you take the A out of Sunday? You don't trust a bitch like that. Oh, my God. I would never trust a bitch like that. I'm still trying to find She's out. sneak all over her face. <laughs> yes. I'm so gl I'm glad I didn't cry earlier. Look, I want to know. Who British think she is too? <laughs> oh, you gonna give me a dry high? <laughs> what kind of high do you, you want, want, bitch? I don't know. I don't even like, know you. Who are you? Malaysia don't fuck with you like that, and you know she don't, don't fuck, fuck with, with you like that. that. So you yeah. concerned about giving yeah. yeah. dry? You <laughs> bitch, you lucky she even give you a. <laughs> <laughs> Shut, Shut up! up. <laughs> Cause a bitch like me, <laughs> if I don't like Ooh. you. I'm gonna say, excuse me, um, Jackie, I'm <laughs> me. fuck all the highs because now I'm being fake and phony. Yeah. And one thing I don't like to do is be fake and phony. Kevin, okay. is, Kevin will tell you, if I don't like somebody, I'm not going to none of their events, okay? Mm -hmm. If I don't like them, you know, Kevin be the main one. Well, just come. No, I don't want to go because if I go, then it's going to make it look like I'm being fake and phony with you. I get that from my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom is the type of person, if she don't, because then my mom's like, I don't want to be fake and phony with you. If I don't like you, I'm not gonna be fake and phony with you, and that's how I am. I don't. If I don't like you, if I or if I know you don't like me, I'm not gonna go and be in your presence because then my attitude is just gonna be all nasty and shitty. And then you have every right to come to me at your event and approach me because I'm at your event being shitty. Mm -hmm. And once you come to me and approach me, then all hell is going to break. Please. But see, like she, she, and then Brandy, like, bitch, what you taking your shoes off for? Why are you always we gonna take off shoes? shoes? <laughs> like you will get the beat, beat the fuck up out of your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you will get your ass whooped in or out of them. I don't know why you're always taking them yeah. off, okay? Malaysia. You need to stop taking them. Malaysia, Malaysia said, like, bitch, I'm a train like I said, okay? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Malaysia. Wait a minute. This is not the Malaysia I knew from like the first season. <laughs> but then she fight Norman on the first episode, right? Oh, I think she did. Yeah. But yeah. you know what? I like Malaysia's attitude. <laughs> yeah. Malaysia's the rider. Don't because come for don't, me if I don't send for yeah, you. Yeah, Malaysia's the. You know what? I'm noticing because I used to come at Malaysia a lot. I'm noticing that me and Malaysia have somewhat of the same attitude, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> the way Malaysia stood up. Oh, <laughs> can I talk to you? For when Brandy and British was arguing at that. Uh, Party at, at, on the roof, roof. Mm -hmm. and Malaysia she stood up right. and she was riding. She stood in the middle like, bitch, okay, if you swing at her, I'm going to swing at you. I never get me and my friend Sean, we went out somewhere, and he was arguing with somebody. I forgot who he was arguing with. And see, I didn't even know the person that well that he was arguing with. But the, it come to find out that they were kind of joking. Oh. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> so he was just saying all this stuff. So I'm sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And you know, Sean, he can handle his own. So so. The guy said something to me. He said, well, what you like jokingly, but I didn't know. He said, well, what, what are you looking at? I said, I just want you to know, if you hit him, I'm going to hit you. Well, oh, I know that's right. Because that's my friend. You're not going to hit him. <laughs> well, I'm staying here, so I'm going to hit you. <laughs> okay. That's it. Malaysia stood up like, well, okay, if you hit her, I'm going to hit you. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you can call who you want, but best believe you're going to get jumped today. Because yeah. you're not going to hit him. And then Dre, your boyfriend, like... He look like he's stuck on stupid. So does Brad's I, boyfriend. I, uh, what did he say to her? He, 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 said, he said, when she came over and told him what happened, he said, you can't be acting like that in these kind of places. What? Will you take her home? Okay? Yes. Take her home. You know, Dre's boyfriend's up. Oh, I, I, I ain't know him like that. Orlando. They uh, just brought her to me when, when we made you stop talking for a little bit. <laughs> but I ain't do nothing with her. I passed her off. And then, you no, know. No, what he say? No, live, all live. She came to the house and she got out the car and I yes. like So I told her to go. Like, this lying. ain't bitch. Everybody got bitches these days. You ain't just showing up to the house <laughs> and nothing ain't Because I'm not driving to nobody's house. Okay. And they don't let me in the front door. Because well, all hells ain't no well. Because they ain't never let I'm me in the front door. No. I'm trying, no. I've never gone to nobody's house and they say, oh, you can't come in. What? <laughs> that is shade right there. That's shade right there. So when he said that, I wasn't buying it. This and female came all the way to your house and you ain't let her in? Boy, boss. Jack, Dre already know what's going mm -hmm. on, but I think for the sake of her wanting to be in a relationship, she just letting this go on. Yeah. And Dre, first of all, you are too, first of all, you you just too good. You are, you look so good. You will be good for somebody, but don't let nobody walk all over you and run all over you. And that's what I'm doing. But you know what? She's getting it back, too, because, I mean, I know she's probably fucked up many a relationship. Dre, like, she's already giddy, giddy, giddy about this relationship. Like, she's like, I was so shocked that they got cheated on. And I'm like, not them. Bitch, anybody can be cheated on. Like, but you was just coming at it from... 
that point where you're not used to ever being in a relationship because you're so used to being a side chick. So mm -hmm. that's what the thing is with Dre, and that's kind of um, I and that's kind of what uh, I was about to call her sedu seduction. <laughs> I'm thinking of the porn star seduction. Bitch, you thinking about porn? Girl, get off of my this. You try. <laughs> what is her name? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. That's what she was kind of saying about Dre. She's mm -hmm. so used to being a side chick. Yeah, even though that's even, true. Even though I don't mm -hmm. like Sunday. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> she fan yeah. is so used to being a side chick that she'll let these men run all over her. And then the thing about it is, she lets these men run all over her. And then when she gets a little bit of backbone, then she wants to say something like, no, you can't do that to me. But by then it's too late because they done already ran over you. And they know now that they can keep running over you, okay? Dre, your whole approach to Orlando should have been totally different. Because it wouldn't have been no sitting down, let's sit down and talk. But let's stand up and talk. It ain't even let's stand up and talk. I get in the house, who the fuck, why the fuck are you texting Jackie's daughter? And why the fuck is Jackie telling me the text message? I don't call his ass off yeah. Dre, but Dre, Dre, Dre played it off right. Because you ain't supposed to let no bitch see you slip. No, she was like, no you're not. You're she not. was like, uh, I didn't. I don't know about this. I need to see the proof or something like that. So she played it right and got his ass together when she got home. Because well, nobody want to be embarrassed. She was safe with it when she got home. Yeah. She was only safe with it because at the end of the day, she was in his house. Yes, <laughs> okay. she know better. She do, okay? But she got money. I'm pretty sure this show is paying you enough to have your own apartment. Yeah, sure. Okay, apartment. Yeah. <laughs> You heard what I said. She was in his um, house. House. Okay. And she, she came around the apartment with her son. In she can have a nice little town, a nice little, little town house. I'm sure she got a little yeah. coins for a nice little town house. Why and not? a nice cute apartment. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm still stuck on this fact that she, after six and months, she's she hosting parties. parties. I know she's you making a lot of money hosting okay. parties. And if she was a stripper and Sunday was tipping her, I know. No. <laughs> Sunday probably was throwing quarters at her. Okay. Sunday is not, you know what? I just I just want to know what Sunday do for a living. Nothing. But getting, but boosting. But she just seemed like, don't don't come on a reality show and, and seem like a hater. You came on here just like, it's like your face is up Jackie Chris's ass. Everything mm -hmm. she says, everything she do, you right there well, right. Well, Jackie, like, Drea, her yeah. name was and, Miami. And Jackie, and tell me, but I did get my life when Jackie cursed out that man about paying that. Well, you want me to fucking go home? <laughs> Do you? That was real. I specifically said, yeah. motherfucker. I said, yes. She's yeah. like, I've been calling your phone every hour, and you never pick up this phone. And you're going to make me come up here, and I got to get her $2,500? It's not going to happen. You better go to the bank and get that motherfucking money. She got him together. He goes, Doug, oh, I think we need to remedy this situation. No, Doug, you shut the fuck up and let Jackie just keep going. Jackie cuts her out like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me. <laughs> he got that moving. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Her two aunts are giving each other. <laughs> my you would not talk to me any kind of motherfucking way in my motherfucking house. You got that? This ain't your house. This is housing authority's house. This is my motherfucking house. This is housing authority's house. Fuck you and housing authority. Oh, yeah. you know. But she got it together. Yes. This ain't your house. This is housing authority's house. And let's, let's, let's keep that all in the way. Ow! Oh, wait. Let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> and she had that stance too, like, yeah. bitch, you will not talk to me. Talk to me. Any kind of motherfucking way. <laughs> in my motherfucking house. <laughs> 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 My house. Fuck you, Andy. Send me that video. That need to be our <laughs> intro. Yeah. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> ain't got a motherfucking way. And my motherfucking. You got that? <laughs> Man, when Ow. your mom cursed out Amber that day and said the same, <laughs> I recorded it and everything. 
Where did that video went? It was in my own phone. I had to delete it. Uh, when the whole incident. Oh, yeah. And Amber got mad and told your mom, your mom can't. You will not stop on my nose and my motherfucker. She told Amber, if you don't like it, you can go to fuck home. <laughs> Camera like this. Yes. <laughs> yes, come out, boy. Now I forgot <laughs> to mention this in our intro, but we had to give a shout out to our girl Angel Laws from ConcreteLoop.com. Angel started her blog back in 2005, <laughs> and um, you know, over time her blog started to take off. It blew you know, up, and she wrote all. You know, all of, mostly all of her articles were about you know. Stories on African Americans, but they weren't like, ooh, find out who this bitch fucking the dead. Yeah. And she never right. had stories like that. She always came from a positive uh, point of view when she posted stories about the stars. And she met up with Kanye West. And, you know, she, first of all, every celebrity knows who the fuck Angel is. And like, then she, with blogs. And that was one of the first blogs that we were featured on. Yes. I mean, the first blog we were featured on. I mean, right. some people wrote to Nicole Bitchy, but no. Angel was like, I really like them because this guy, he be um, tweeting everybody. Can't remember his name, but he was tweeting our videos to everybody like, y'all need to put on y'all blog. And I'm like, stop. Can you stop that? And then Angel must have seen one of our videos and she fell in love with our videos so much that she posted us in an advertisement spot. And we didn't even have to pay her to advertise on her page. Because I ain't no damn money. Right? Okay. And we still ain't got no money. still ain't got no money. <laughs> I don't have nobody. <laughs> I am broke. Okay? And you will not talk to me in my motherfucking house, okay? Yeah. So, you know, throughout and, and throughout the success of her blog, Angel was able to put out a book, Concrete Loop Presents, uh, oh damn, I'm I'm fucked the name went, up. But it's a went to the White House. Yes, went to the White House, met the met president. The president. Um she had a 50th concrete loop party in New York. 50th? Fifth. fifth, I ain't say fifth. You did. We had a good time. But that night ended the comment. But <laughs> thank God we can laugh at that now, yeah, okay? Because that night Cause we weren't laughing, laughing, okay? We weren't laughing. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you why they weren't laughing, but um, yeah, it was a. Let's just say I came a long way. But um, <laughs> who came a long way? You, right? <laughs> Cause that night, it could have went really right or really wrong, and for us, it went really wrong. Okay, but for you, I slept well that night. How you doing? If you could have seen us in that hallway, sprawled out on the floor, security came and said, "Ah, uh -uh. y'all been up here for like a good four hours. I'm gonna go." Woo! Yes, I came along. Oh man, thank God we can laugh at that now. Because that night we were not laughing. I was like, oh. Oh, so that thing is funny. Oh, okay. I got something for y'all. I thought y'all would stay here. Yeah, I was like, Ty, no, I got this. No, Ty, I'll see them later. Uh huh. Oh, man. But yeah, okay. But back to Angel. Yeah. That's our girl. And I've been able to talk to Angel about whatever problems I had, you know, blogging issues, trying to do my blogs and everything. Angel has always been there to help. And you know, I might have my down days and she'd be like, Kevin, don't feel down. And I'll do the same for her. We both had, you know, our weight loss issues and everything. She had her man issues and now she got a good man. And, you know, I'm just really happy for Angel. You know, of course I'm sad that mm -hmm. she's leaving a concrete loop behind. But you is know, she is so the site is no more. The site is no longer. I don't I think it's probably still up. But it's no longer active. She decided not to post anything. post anything anymore, and you know she's lost her passion for, for the blogging. blogging. And 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 that's a Scorpio thing, because sometimes I lose my passion for this show. Like, you know, I, 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 I from because sometimes I feel like, oh, this shit is not where it's supposed to be, and I'd be like, all right, well. <laughs> Sometimes I'd be like, fuck it, let's just, all right, let, well, I'll give it one more year, I'll give it one more year. But it's like, even if I had another job, I don't think I could just walk away just like that right now. Because I love doing this. Sometimes it takes taking a break and getting back into it. Because sometimes you need a break. I haven't needed a break in a while, and let's hope I don't need a break. 
Because sometimes it's frustrating. Oh God, but, I need a break. But I've I've loved. I need a I, bathroom I love, break. I don't need I don't need a break. But I, I said I need a bathroom. Bro, you take your shit at home. I don't need. <laughs> <a bathroom. laughs> so so I, I definitely understand Angel when it comes to the passion part. Right. And I hope that she finds a new passion and whatever is fashion, like because she has a good fashion style. And if I don't think she want to do a fashion blog, but if she. Wanted to do something in fashion, I'm sure she could do it. I, we got to call Angel and get her on the show to find out why she left ConcreteLoop.com. Because, you know, I want to know. And we should that could be our first home. interview of the year. Yeah. We can go Besides to Price. Yeah, we should go to New York. Yeah, and interview her. Yes, I'm about to text her right now. I'm like, yeah, you need to come to New York and interview her. And she had the Concrete Loop office and everything. So, you know, I'm, we need to, we need to uh, delve into that a little bit more. But shout out to Angel. We want to let you know that we love you and good luck with your future endeavors. And now we have to talk about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Anything that I missed, I accidentally deleted my notes. So I'm sorry. First things first. Kim and Sheree. Shout out to Kim and Sheree. They was on Watch What Happened Live last night. And Andy read the shit out of them. But he mainly read Sheree more than anybody. Of course, he asked her about where she had Sheree. What is she doing in life now? Is she wearing she by Sheree? He was going and he was just trying. Yeah, and she was like, no, bitch. <laughs> but I did ask her what she's doing now. She said, That's why Mice comes on at 8, right? Yes. And okay. it's about, we, we should be done in 10 minutes. Yeah, we told 10, 15 you. minutes. Because yeah, no. my wrestling about to come on. No, 8, 10. Bro. Not 15, 10. Oh, oh okay. Because well, remember, I don't live right here. I got to drive home. Oh, bitch, you ain't got that far to go. <laughs> so, right, yeah, I do. Okay. So, um,. So yeah, that was on Watch What Happened Live. Nene called and Nene talked about Dancing with the Stars. She how she missed the girls and fighting with them. Blah 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 blah. And she's being fake and phony. Yeah, Sheree finally said, "Oh, I am coming out with a fitness DVD." Bitch, should have did it a long time ago. But when that DVD come out, I want you to send us a free copy so we can do it and, and review it. And you could come on and talk about it, promote it on my show, Sheree. Right. Since you love Mikael. Hey, so um, I know I yes, can see. I gotta need to DM her. Yeah, if she's still following me. Ooh. Well, why was she unfollowed? I don't know. Because we yeah. told her, don't come back on TV until you fix your life. Stay off TV. You want to let Iyanla get you together? Like, she gave you a free counseling session, and you didn't want it. So she left, She made you look at that big-ass house and look stupid. Oh, here she is. Out there, she about your right. I'm just, I'm DMing her right now. Are you kidding me? I mean, are you serious? Yeah. Message to I am Sheree. Oh, okay, cool. So, um... That. Now, Portia came out with a new song today called Flatline. Now, I didn't believe it was her, and Mikhail said, Kevin, that is her. It's just some, I don't know how, I don't think it's auto-tune, but they did do something with her voice, because it sounds strong, and it doesn't, it doesn't match how Portia would look. So I can't picture Portia singing this live, and if she do perform it live, she might shut me the hell up. And I'm like, well, you know, she does pretty well. Maybe Portia can perform Flatline on the um, Bravo reunion. That would be cute. Help her get her sales up. Or maybe she could perform it at Westminster Abbey. I don't know. I don't think so. Is that really what dog show is called? Oh, West Canada. Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey is in <laughs> What What is the dog show called every year? The... I, I know what you're talking about, yeah, but yeah. So I mean, I think the song is cute. I like the like that song is definitely has something to do with our relationship. And that's how you come out with a song dealing with personal issues, so people can feel where you're coming from. But mm -hmm. I just don't believe that she's singing it. But Mikhail liked it. I, I, I didn't say I liked it. it. I said it was her. Oh, uh, but did you like it? It was cute. It was cute. Ain't nothing to fall out over. She didn't give me any vocal spectacularity in this. I don't know what kind of word that was, but she didn't go off like that. But anyway, last night on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, this was part two of the Mexico trip. And, child, I can't wait to Sunday. Kenya and Ms. Lawrence, you know, I don't even want to go into everything, but I live to Lawrence on this episode because Lawrence was like, I'm one of the girls. And I am going to be up here with these men, and I'm going to smoke with them, and I'm going to get my life. So Lawrence gave me my life. What's that? Alcohol pads. I'm going to say. Oh, you still in your gym outfit? I mean, your gym outfit. You tried. <laughs> you, <laughs> you tried it. Me at the gym. It can happen. You're right. If I did, I still have my membership, and I'm going right. to go back. You know, what's the name is a trainer now, and he's trying to get me to come, but I can't. Sure. Be his, um, what's the name? No, my friend, um, Javon. 
Young Capital, the one who was here at the cookout with no shirt on. He's oh. a tra- he's a trainer now, and um, he has a he good. Philly? No, he lives in Baltimore, but he has a good clientele now, and he's trying to get me, you know, you know. But I yeah, he was selling that body at the. Uh, he was. But, but, and it's gotten but better the, now that he's a trainer. Like it's gotten even better, and it's like, you know, I, I appreciate the fact that he's trying to get me in shape, and I told him I need somebody who I feel comfortable with, because I can't do it on my own because I'm not. I don't have the what do you call it the mindset to do it on my own. I need for somebody to not only push me, but I need for some the person who's pushing me actually know what they're doing and talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because anybody can tell you, no, you gotta do that, do that. But if you don't really, really know. Does Planet Fitness have any trainers there? I have to find out. But you know what they do? But see, the thing, the problem was when they had their classes, they only have them like two days out of the week. And the, the time, the hours they have them, I'm at work. Like, why would you have that? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, come on. In the middle of the day, everybody's at work. Maybe you need a personal trainer and feel. I do, but I can't, you know, it can't, they can't. Remember your personal trainer that you had? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. He, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would have, never mind, be quiet, Mikael. See, I, I didn't look at the. I way. know you didn't, but I did, because that wasn't my trainer. I'm like, I'm there to but work God, out. God, I would have paid for that to be my trainer. Get your life, Mikael. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I've actually seen him working at the club. Um, what club? He worked. He worked at um. Doing what? Security. Oh, I just want to say strippers. So no. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. But this was I haven't seen him in like two years. But yeah, he was doing security for the club. I mean that that was a trainer who everything worked out in their favor. Mm-hmm. And I think he had recently had a baby too. So I mean, he damn. Might- but I just couldn't, um, I couldn't. Yeah. It wasn't your type. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, I just, I, when I have a relationship with you, it's strictly personal. I mean, professional, not personal. Of so, course. So you damn like, sure wasn't having none with me. What happened? Because you ain't know what happened. And, you and, damn and, sure wasn't and, having none with me. And it's you know, when people, I thought you and Kevin used to, no, you didn't think that. No, and, and people <laughs> still say to be dumb. <laughs> to be dumb and stupid. Yes, but let's get into this housewife. See, we don't waste the five minutes. <laughs> For a minute. Just don't don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Mr. Potbelly. Don't do it. <laughs> this goes to show you how close we really are, because the weight that you lost, I gained. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to lose a little bit more. Though, the bitch, you tried it. Dude. You <laughs> thought I was going to pick up the rest of that. I mean, you could. You lied. Look you at tell. that. And this is not sucking in. This is crazy. Yeah, you done all sucked out over the weekend. <laughs> Don't do it, I'll snatch that wig real fast. So I'll snatch it, bitch. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'll catch it more so so the girls is in Mexico. Child, it was the Kenya show, okay? And I don't want to talk about all the Kenya show. But Kenya seeing all of these shamans and, and everything to try to get pregnant and you know, Nene wasn't really none of the girls is really there for the event. But no. Candy, you know, Candy is more sport than anybody, but Portion, Kenya. They ain't had nothing else better to do. Portia and uh, Phaedra and had nothing better to do besides um, being a water and stuff. And Portia's body looked amazing in that baby. Yes. So she was getting in that water? Yes. I said. And, and when, see, Kenya got a nice body, but you could tell it's light bulb. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, ooh. You can see the dents and bents, but okay. you ain't see no dents and bents in Portia. <laughs> Not in Portia. Not in Portia. Portia. Wait till she, after she had a baby. Well, when she, whenever she gets pregnant. That's all right. But in the, in the meantime, yeah, she looks but like Kenya it. ain't have no baby. Her, her body looks like that. I don't know, because Kenya gained weight, and then she got like bowled up and everything, allegedly, because I don't want to say she ain't like, yes, I don't know. So anyway, let's get to the good part. Yes. A Pedro, a Pedro. A Pedro. A Pedro. Showtime at the Apollo. <laughs> yes. Apollo and Kenya. Now, first of all, Kenya knew what she was doing, okay? Kenya and Miss Lawrence, uh-huh. they got y'all real good. They yeah. got y'all while y'all was drunk <laughs> and drinking. And then, and then, and then Kenya left Lawrence to sit there okay. and be the decoy. And, and he just didn't talk to them. Yeah. And and they were in the, they, I mean, they. I mean, anytime you get Peter saying no shade, and why did not talk, talk about that? What man talks like that? Peter. No shade. Petra. Petra. Petra tried it. No shade. Uh, like bitch by. So anyway, Miss Lawrence got up there, laid with the girl. She gave my life last night for some reason. I don't, really, mind, that's for sure. I don't really go off for Lawrence, but hey, he gave my life on that. So, 
Because he was smoking that cigar and being caught with He was boys. sucking that cigar and you were loving it. <laughs> you were loving it. Because you know that's your time. No. That's your time. But keep so, going. So anyway, yeah. So for some reason, Kenny was like, I'm going to get you guys more drinks. Drinks, drinks, drinks. <laughs> Apollo follows Kenya and they over at the bar talking some bullshit. Now we already know Phaedra is not here for Kenya and Apollo. So even though it's an insecurity that Phaedra has, she has to play police police to Apollo. Because Apollo, when any time that uh dog's not around, that the dog master not around, he's going to play. When the cat's away, the mice will play. Ain't that how they say? So, you know, he's talking to Kenyan, then all of a sudden they get another drink, and then they go sit down and have a conversation about the text messages. And he tells her, so we all find out that they never fucked, okay? Mm -hmm. Me, long story short, we find out they never fucked, but he told her again, if I wanted to fuck you, I could have fucked you. And, you know, or you, or you could have, and then she didn't say anything. He's like, yeah, if I wanted to, I really could have fucked you. And then Kenya didn't say anything. And I, and I was like, well, this is just leading me to believe that Kenya does want to fuck Apollo. And that's when it, uh, another bulb in my head triggered and said, if Kenya was not on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and you and her were friends, she would fuck your man and you wouldn't even know. Yeah. She, she has that that power like the way that these men look at her she has a nice fucking body she's she's a very attractive woman then she got those contacts in there that will allure you to her Child. contacts I ain't no contacts still did shit for people bitch I who still wears contacts in 2014 not unless you no, know me it's not just con it's the color color contacts what I don't understand brown on brown like what? I wear mine because I can't see that good. What's your life? No damn contacts. But, you know, mm. Phaedra, let me tell you something, Phaedra. You know what kind of man you have. Okay. And you allow this to go on for so long. And, you know, now, I, I can't even say you look weak or anything like that. She's just, it's just that more insecure. Yeah. It makes her look insecure, but you know what kind of man you was marrying. And you know what you was getting into. So I... Don't feel that sorry for you, but I do feel bad to see you not getting Apollo together. Like, you are allowing this to happen. Like, you need to let him know. If you want to be around her, then, bitch, we can't be together. Like, you should let him know the rules before y'all left. Like, don't say, oh, I know how um, I know how Kenya is when you're around. No. You need to find out how he is when Kenya is around. Ooh, go ahead. Like, like, like let's get into that. Go ahead and preach. So... Phaedra, you, I mean, I, I can't really feel bad for you, but I do feel bad for your situation. You got these two kids and then your husband out there playing around. Apollo, Kenya ain't the only one Apollo been playing around with. I mean, Apollo ain't the only one Kenya, you know. Kenya Apollo was the one, only one Apollo been playing around yeah, with. You said it right uh, the first time. Yeah, you know, Apollo plays around with a lot of people. But, you know, it's happening to you. Um, Nene and, I want to see Nene and uh, Peter get into it next week. Because then Greg going to go off on Peter. But see, I need to see them come to blows. And I really need to find out what went on. Did Peter really read NeNe that bad that Greg had to stand up to Peter after NeNe told him to get into it? Um, you know, that's what I'm waiting to see. But this week's episode, it really wasn't that good. It really wasn't that good. But it was only good when Kenya got drunk with Apollo and them. And that's when we seen what was really going on in between the two. I wasn't really into Kenya's whole life story about, you know, her not having a baby and everything. I do feel bad for her in some parts. Like, Kenya has a way to work your nerves, and then she has a way to work on your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be looking forward to next week, because next week's look like it's going to be good. And I'm going to need them to come on with this. Like, how long is this show going to go on? When is the reunion coming? Like, No, I want it to keep going on so it can get even better. It's not going to get... It's almost 20 episodes in. Like, how many more episodes you need? Really? Mm, when did it come usually end? Back around the end of March. It's been coming on since November. What is the, the next first? episode? No, probably... It's probably like two more episodes left. It seemed like that went by fast. And when did it start? November. Damn. So, yeah. November, December, January, February, March. That's five months worth of episodes. They've been preempted twice due to the Grammys and the Oscars. 
But other than that, it's four months. Oh no, Super Bowl and Super Bowl and Oscars. But yeah. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna get up out of here. I we were gonna talk about Chris Brown, but this is getting too long. Chris Brown just was doing some shit he shouldn't have been doing with the people that's there and he's got locked up and he's in jail. You know, I just want to pray for Chris Brown. Like, I'm not even going to talk bad about him no more. No, but you know what? I don't really want to just throw it away like that. I really want to talk about it next time we record. Oh, I'm about to say next because week. I, I really, no, because I really want to talk about why it was that he was thrown in jail. Yeah, Mikel knew all the reasons why. Yes. So, but I just, I just, I just can't find myself beating a dead horse. Hitting a dead horse with a stick anymore. Like, I feel bad for him, and I just want him to. I just want him the, the best for him, but he has the money for himself. Mm -hmm. But we'll talk about it on Thursday. I mean, we'll be back on Friday with a new video. But um, thank y'all for watching, and we will see y'all Friday. Peace. Bye. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. I gotta get home because I'm starving too.